This German goulash, also known as German beef stew with red wine, is easy put together but needs quite a bit of simmering time. The depth and richness of this amazing gravy makes it the perfect dish for a cold winter day. The ingredients are simple and as this dish freezes well, I like to make a bigger batch. These are the ingredients for about 8 portions of goulash. 4 pounds beef. I use in this video stew meat because I couldn't find something else on the spot, but you could cut your cubes from beef shoulder or better even beef shank. If you cut your meat by yourself, I would recommend cutting larger cubes. You also need 3 pounds of onions. I already cubed mine. And yes, I know, it sounds a lot, but this is what gives the gravy thickness and depth of flavor. You also need 2 tablespoons of clarified butter, 2 tablespoons tomato paste, 2 to 4 garlic cloves, about each 2 cups of red wine and beef. You also need 1 tablespoon paprika powder, 1 teaspoon of lemon zest, 3 barley leaves, 1 teaspoon of marjoram, 1 teaspoon of caraway seeds and salt and pepper to taste. As always, you can find the link to the printable recipe in the video description. I'm cooking this German beef stew in my new pot from Michelangelo. The German-based company sent me this amazing pots and pan set and I'm completely in love with it. I love not only the beautiful hammered finish, but I also love the great functionality. These pots and pans have a stainless steel induction bottom that works with every cooktop and they can go directly from stovetop to oven. I only say cheese spätzle, perfect for them. I also love that all pots and pans come with a matching lid. And the steamer could probably even be used for, uh, to make homemade spätzle. Let me know if you would like me to try that out and I will make a video. I will leave a link to the pot set in the description if you would like to check it out. It's not an affiliate link. But now let's start with the recipe. Start by melting the clarified butter on medium heat. If you don't have clarified butter, you can use lard or one tablespoon of butter plus one tablespoon of neutral vegetable oil. And if you look up in the corner, I will link the recipe for how you can make homemade clarified butter in very easy steps. Fry the onion cubes on medium heat in the clarified butter for about 10 to 15 minutes until they are slightly brown. Don't forget to stir occasionally to avoid burning. Then add tomato paste and garlic to the onions and continue frying for a few minutes. I usually use my homemade garlic paste. I will link that too in the description, but you can use fresh garlic I would not recommend garlic powder though. Fry this all together for about 5 minutes before you mix in the paprika powder and then fry it for another about 2-3 to three minutes. Then you just need to pour in the broth and wine and simmer the mixture covered on medium-low heat for about 45 minutes and then uncovered for about 15 minutes. If you were worried about the amount of onions, you will be pleasantly surprised that we now blend them either with an immersion blender or better, pour the mixture into a stand blender and then mix it until smooth. Then you just pour it back into the pot. Zest about half of the lemon and add it with the barley leaves, marjoram and caraway seeds to the pot. Then add the meat also to the pot and simmer it on low heat covered for about 2 hours. Season with salt and pepper to taste and you are ready to serve either with potatoes, spätzle or dumplings. Guten Appetit!